The leaves formed verdant pathways. Predictably, Riga first, with Agar close behind. In those pathways, they traded secrets. Secrets Riga whispered to the flock, hoping to push them beyond the hollow, beyond the forest. Most nights, Riga and Agar sat beneath the stars to dream. Twin hearts sounding a duet of beats. Like ours, Mara. I still feel yours. Still distant. In this story, Agar fixated on the dark clouded pox that marred the night above the canopy. He pointed to the starry spaces between them and asked his sister to name them. Riga never spoke a word. She already knew all their names and didn't want to crush his spirit. How cherished. One night, Agar grew impatient of her silence and pointed to one of the dark spots as it roared with thunder. The storm is singing to us, said Agar. We should sing back to show we are not afraid. Riga wove her voice with his, and the thunder resounded. She did not sing with him again after that night. Rare to see stars in the ascended plane. I wish we were doing this together. Why hide the scepter if it weren't a test? I understand pilfering ruins suits you more than researching them, Hunter. Listen and learn. When the Awoken people came into being after the Collapse, I was the first. As first, my chosen form defined what an Awoken could be. Thousands followed my example, willing themselves into existence within the Distributary. Some, like Aldrin, required help. His mind was like an unsteady form. No surprise he was unable to do it on his own. So I guided him, filled the gaps in his memory. I gave him a star to follow. He was bonded to me, and his devotion spiraled into pathetic recklessness. Even through death, he hasn't outgrown that dependency. I see it in him, as he looks longingly to his ghost for answers. To you. And you're certain she's contained? Certainty is a necessity. It is your doubts we should fear with Savathun among us. Be straight with me. Remember who you are speaking to. I hold all the keys to all your futures. I would not let them dangle carelessly without attention. Savathun's never been a one-track type of opponent. She's playing you. We are not the same, Ikora. This is a plan long set in motion. She is contained and soon to be dead. Was Osiris's capture part of your plan then? Sagira's death? Navigating the future is not always clear. If you're willing to sacrifice my people for your plans, how can I be sure you'll wait to see Osiris return before slitting the Witch Queen's throat? I mourn for Sagira. I have every intention to see Osiris return safely. It's more than you did for me. If my assurances mean nothing to you, let me offer a warning instead. You are following your doubts into Savathun's trap. Your arrogance might kill another one of my friends. If he isn't dead already. Had I more wishes, things would not be as they are. Had you more wishes, they'd be much worse. Osiris, I will not abandon you. As I speak, these guardians of the city patrol across the system searching for you. I am searching for you. No amount of hive spawn or Sabathun's trickery will stand between us. You will see freedom. You will return. It is not your way to die. Wait for me. As I did for you. You have never practiced patience. But hold on a few moments more. Saint. Have the hidden found him? Saint, you don't have to broadcast these live. I see. This is true. Nepeto can establish a repeating signal. It will forward any response directly to you. Besides, I could use you in the field. Yes. I am, if nothing else, useful. More than that, you are needed. I knew it was not him, but I would not listen to my heart. Compassion can be abused. Optimism has its pitfalls. Flaws don't make them worthless. Even lies can be learned from. Do not worry. I think I will not be using compassion next time Salafon stands before me. No, I think we have a whole different set of emotions to deal with that moment. Osiris is out there. We will find him. 